ஓகே கூகுள் டேர்ன் ஆன் ஓபன் ஓகே கூகுள் டேர்ன் ஆன் க்ளோஸ் Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a normal roller door into a fully Wi-Fi smart controlled door using the Sonoff 4 Sheet Tree device. With just a few simple steps, you'll be able to control your roller door from anywhere in the world. This setup works with many platforms like Google Assistant, Alexa Smart Thing and more. Introduction of Sonoff device. This is the Sonoff 4 CHR3. It works with both main current and 12 volt current. It has four ports. Channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 and channel 4. Now we are going to use three ports out of four. There are also four physical buttons. When you press a button, it indicates with a red LED. First, let's open the control box of the roller door. Inside, you'll find the push button circuit panel. Carefully detach the socket to separate the panel. Here's the push button circuit panel. As you can see, It has buttons for oops, downs and alt hold along with a common wire. We need to solder extra wires to these buttons following this wiring diagram. Here, look at this diagram. Up button wire to slot 1. Hold button wire to slot 2. Down button wire to slot 3. common wire to each slot A modification of the push button circuit board Now, let's take the modified push button control panel. The Sonoff device has 4 slots, but we only need 3. Connect the wires as follows. This is final circuit diagram. Setting up connect to the Wi-Fi network. Here, power up with 12 volt adapter. Before connect to the main circuit, we need to connect the Sonoff 4 CHR3 to your Wi-Fi network. Ensure that both your phone and Sonoff device are under same Wi-Fi network during this step only. Download and install the eWi Link app on your phone. Turn on Bluetooth and connect your Sonoff 4 CHR3 to a 12 volt adapter. A blue light should start blinking. Make sure your Sonoff device and mobile phone are close to each other. Open the Ulink app and click on the plus mark to add a new device. Select your Wi-Fi network, enter your password and click next. After a few minutes, your Sonoff device will appear in the app. The blue light on the Sonoff device will turn on continuously, indicating it's connected to the Wi-Fi network.
you need a 12 volt power supply to power up this Sonoff 4CHR3. Reconnect the push button control panel to the main circuit board. Use the same power supply to power the 12 volt adapter. Now we need few app modification. For the roller gate, we need a push button type action. Go back to the settings menu and scroll down. Click on the inching settings tab. Here you can see each channel that we renamed with the default time set to one second. Turn on each channel and save your settings. Now we need to rename channels. Now we need to do a few adjustments. Click on the new device we added, then click on the three dots in the top right corner to enter the settings menu. Click on the name tab, where you can change the device name and assign custom names to each channel. First, device rename as gate. Rename channel 1 as open. Rename channel 2 as hold. And rename channel 3 as close. Now we need interrogation with Google Home. Click on the newly added device. Now click on three dots on the upper right. Here you can see Google Home and click on it. Now you can see different command name of each channel. These commands can use for Google Assistant. Now, testing time. Now, let's test it out. Press button one for the up function, button two for hold and button three for down. Each button should work accordingly. Okay, we're good. Turn on open. Okay, Google, turn on hold. Okay, Google, turn on open. Okay, Google, turn on close. And that's it. Your roller door is now a smart and Wi-Fi controlled device 
You can now control it from anywhere using your phone or through various smart home platforms. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.